Coach O'Brien talks to us. I mean, it's all about the team. You know, do every play your, play your role. You know, your role is not playing. You know, do something because it's all about the team winning. And that's you, know, you want to do it. You know, it's hard. It's easy to keep your head because you want to do it with whatever it takes. To win. What specific schools called you? I just, I was just a kid. What school is called you? I just want to keep it. I stayed here. That's uh-huh. so that was my choice. If you get calls in the coming weeks, what, what's your message? I'm staying here. I, you know, I made the decision to stay here this year. And, you know, like I talked to my parents, you know, it's not just a one season thing. It's like, I chose to stay I'm, I'm here to the end. With the start of the season, what does an 8 and 4 season mean to this team? Um, regardless of how the season turned out, it mean, the season means a lot just because of everything that we went through, everything we fought through, you know, the guys that we played with, you know, the guys who stayed, especially the seniors who stayed. Unfortunately, you know, all this happened for their senior year. They stayed and fought, you know, and fought for everything. So it was big. Zach, this offensive line was supposed to be one of the more, more inexperienced units coming into this season. To get a 1,000 yard rupture. Out of that unit this year, obviously it takes a lot out of the units to back, but what can you say about those guys and the progress they've made from day one to today? I mean, when we came in, you know, teaching a new system, you know, we've only been running it for so many months now. And it's hard, you know, because you're changing everything that you've done. And this year we have some guys that are playing that didn't play last year. But, you know, without them, we would have never got anywhere. I never would have got anywhere. Because I know the backs are They've come a long way. They, they work hard every day. Zach, when, when you went down there, you were laying on the field. It was eerily quiet in the stadium. Have you? I'm just curious if you've ever seen Jerry Maguire in the scene where Rod <laughs> Tidwell's laying there and he's like, "Let me just enjoy this for a moment." Have you seen that in your first? I guess it should be my first question. <laughs> I have, but I don't know if I necessarily remember. Okay. Just, what was the issue there? Just crash. Just, okay. just crash. Yeah, it's good. It was a long game. It was cold out. Did you expect to get that many carries? I mean, not because you never carried it that much, but why would, Why did they keep, keep calling your number? Did you just um, get a sense of that? <laughs> that's what you, you're going to have to ask the coaches for that. You know, I just you know, they, you know they wanted me to go in. I had to go in. That was my job. I was going to you know, give everything I had you know, for the two teams. And, uh, Is that from one running back to the other, Monte Ball, I get setting that NCAA record uh, today. How would you maybe compare you and his running styles? Be both pretty physical, obviously. I mean, is that is that where you kind of the comparison stops, or how would you maybe put it in words? Um, I don't know how I put it. I know he's a great running back. You know, he's a great guy to look up to. You know, congratulations to him for breaking the record. You know, that's exciting. Fortunately, it happened against us, but you know, he earned it. And you know, he's a he's a great back. He's someone to look up to and watch. How do you feel physically after this season? I mean, right now, how, how do you feel? Well, after that, I'm a little, I'm a little beat up today, <laughs> but. Um, I'll know more Monday and or tomorrow and Monday about how my body's holding up today. Can you remember back after Virginia, you had what, three carries for two yards, where your mindset was? Just, it know, was a loss, too. Yeah, I mean, it was rough. You know, we had a lot of issues in that game, you know, and we sorted it out, but it was just come in next week and, you know, work hard. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You know, we had a few injuries at the time. Each week you come out, you got to have to work hard because you never know what's going on. So that was you to yourself saying that. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Well, I mean, the coaches say it too. I mean, you know, we had to come out and work hard. You don't come from a loss and just be like, oh, we're going to coast. You have to. We, didn't, we couldn't accept that, So, we, especially two in a row. So your goal at that time was to get more carries, was to start? Was it to just get 1,000 yards? Just to do whatever <laughs> the team needed. It was, that's, that's been the goal all along. It was never yards, carries, anything, touchdowns. It's always just whatever the team needs. Like Purdue, you know, I had a few yards. I had a couple. I had over 100 in Purdue, but Zorge scored both touchdowns, and it's all about the team to win. Zach, you talked about being kind of a low-key guy who, you know, staying out of the public spotlight, you know, not being being low-key on campus. How are you going to handle it if and when other programs call you? I mean, what are you what are you going to what are you going to do there? If I mean, somebody else contacted me, like I told them, I made a decision to stay here this year, and I've talked to my parents. You know, it's it's a decision to stay through the end. I'm not going to stay just one and done. I'm, I'm made a commitment, and I'm going to finish now. Do you feel strongly that 